Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. All right, so welcome back, you guys. We are here for yet another One Hobby. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my thoughts from One Hobby 34, which happened on October 2nd, I believe, in Japan. But it was like Friday, October 1st for me here in Canada. Um, I was, it was actually my brother's birthday on October 1st. So I was actually celebrating his birthday during the event. So I was like sneaking peeks at my phone <laughs> and like reading everyone's like hype. Um, I was kind of sad I couldn't participate, but what can you, what can you do? It's my brother's 18th birthday. Like <laughs> it's time to party. <laughs> um, but yeah. I am here today to talk about my thoughts on the figures from One Hobby 34. So if you are newer to the figure collecting community, every few months, uh, Good Smile Company and kind of its affiliates put on a One Hobby. So earlier this year we had One Hobby 33, and now we have One Hobby 34. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts on One Hobby 33, I'll link the video up above. But today I'm gonna to be talking about the 34th One Hobby. It's essentially just a, um, what do you call it? Like a convention type thing where they like display all of the new prototypes and everything that are kind of works in progress and announcements. Um, and if you live in Japan, you can actually go to the, to the exhibit and see these in real life. But since I live in Canada and not Japan, probably like most of you that watch my channel, uh, we can enjoy one hobby from the comforts of our home through Good Smile Company's website and through the photos provided by all of the wonderful people that actually go and take pictures of uh, the prototypes. So I'm going to be first going through all of the prototypes and everything on Good Smile Company's like website for One Hobby 34. And then I will be talking about a few that were shown but not put up on the website for whatever reason, but that people have like tweeted and cataloged that way from the different companies. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be a long video probably. Let's get right into it. Uh, so I am looking at them on my screen here, but I will like insert a photo of whatever I'm talking about <laughs> uh, here in, in post. But we are going to start with the first announcement they had, which is a Max Factory scale figure from Hololive, which is the uh, Hosho Marine. I am not a Hololive fan. Uh, I don't really watch it. Like, I have nothing against it. I don't mean like I'm not a fan because I don't like it. I'm just not a fan because I haven't really gotten into the whole like, haven't really gotten into the whole like VTuber scene. Um, but this figure is so nice. I think she looks absolutely stunning. And I know this thing is gonna sell like crazy. <laughs> she looks absolutely beautiful in this figure. Um, yeah, I think it's fantastic. And I think even non Hololive fans will be tempted to buy this figure of Marine because she, she just looks wonderful. Wow. Um, I especially love her face and hair and everything like that. Like she just looks so freaking good. But yeah, yeah, you guys are gonna be well fed. Let's just say that you Hololive fans at this, uh, at this <laughs> one hobby, you were well fed. You got a lot of announcements. Um, I'm gonna fly through the rest of the Hololive announcements because they could take up half this video themselves. Uh, lots of Nendoroids. We got Pecora, who is this really cute like rabbit one. I love her. I want a scale figure for her. I would honestly consider buying that because she's so freaking adorable. Um, we have Rushia, very cute. Uh, Subaru. Uh, Miko. Fubuki. Oh, a pop-up parade of her. A pop-up parade of uh, Okami Mio. A pop-up parade of Pecora, very cute as well. Uh, a Figma, some more Figmas, some more Figmas. And then we got our first Xenoblade Chronicles figure. This one looks amazing. I'm not into Xenoblade or these figures, so I won't be picking it up, but she looks absolutely stunning, I must say. Uh, some Nendoroids I don't know. Hopefully you guys are hyped about that. <laughs> Actually, I should add, Please comment down below what you guys are excited about, about this uh, this one hobby. I personally was not too hyped about any of the announcements. Like none made me like scream. <laughs> uh, but if you guys had ones that made you just like squeal with excitement, please comment those down below. I'd love to share in your excitement since I didn't really have as many big announcements at this one. 
Okay, continuing on, we got another one from this Ace Attorney. I've never even heard of this before, but looks cool. Uh, this Black Rock Shooter, whose prototype I believe was at the last one hobby, correct me if I'm wrong, she got painted and she looks incredible. I love everything about this figure. Um, I won't be picking it up just because I'm not like a Black Rock Shooter fan, but wow, this figure looks amazing. I think this is the best Black Rock Shooter figure. Even better than the inexhaustible one, in my opinion. Yeah, she's amazing. Love it. Love that figure. Uh, oh, okay. I am really, really excited about this one. Uh, they did announce quite a few Jujutsu Kaisen Nendoroids, and they announced a Maki Zenin Nendoroid. Definitely going to be picking this up. While I would love a scale figure of her, I feel like this Nendoroid is going to be absolutely killer, and it kind of makes me regret not buying the Nobara one because now I want to like put them together. <laughs> but um, but yeah, love this. I think she's gonna be such a cute Nendoroid. I can't wait to pick her up. Uh, we got a Sukuna Nendoroid. Probably will buy that as well, uh, cause I think it'll be pretty cool. And I did buy the Yuji Nendoroid, so I think it'll be fun to have them both. Uh, Nanami Nendoroid. Again, would love a scale figure of any of these characters, to be honest, a good scale figure, cause I don't like the the Fnex Sukuna, but I will probably also buy the, the Nanami Nendoroid because Nanami, like Gojo is Gojo, okay? But Nanami? Sheesh. Love me some Nanami. Love me a man that can separate his work-life balance, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, love, love Nanami. Definitely gonna buy his Nendoroid. Um, this might be sacrilege. I know Danielle over at Anumbe loves uh, Toge, but I don't really love Toge. I mean, he's cute, but I don't think I'll be picking up his Nendoroid. He's cute, but I have no attachment to him, so probably will not be picking up uh, Inamaki, but very cute nonetheless. I'm sorry, Danielle. <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> um, also, the Nendoroid Panda. I will definitely be buying the Panda Nendoroid. I feel like that's all I need to say. Come on. It's so cute. And it's got to go with Mackie. <laughs> uh, for you Figma fans, we are getting a Mona Figma. Personally, I'm more excited about her scale figure that I have pre-ordered, but the Figma's really cute if you are into Figmas. Uh, a Chizuru from Rent a Girlfriend scale announced. Um, there is a nice like Fnex one. I, I think it's I think it's Fnex of Chizuru that I think is really cute um, and would be a good choice, but I feel like Good Smile Company's gonna make a nice Chizuru and uh, I might pick it up depending on how she looks. I, How do you guys feel about these Hello Good Smile things? When I first saw them, I was like, ew, no, but they're kind of growing on me. I think they're kind of cute. I really like this little witch one too. So you know what? You know what? They're, they're growing on me. The Miku is cute. The Miku's cute. What can I say? Um, it's growing, it's growing. Uh, oh, we got some more Tokyo Revengers announcements. This might actually make me get the Mikey one, uh, but we have Chifuyu and we have Draken. Uh, I don't know if you guys have watched Tokyo Revengers, but of all of the main cast, Draken is my favorite. Can I say Husbando? Because they're like, 14. I feel like that's weird, but also like they don't look 14. Anybody else co as conflicted as I am like <laughs> with Tokyo Revengers, like can we just pretend they're like 20? Like why are they even in the gang at 14? Like riding motorcycles and getting like Dragon got tattooed like what in the fucking fifth grade? Like I don't understand. <laughs> I do not understand. Why are they so young? <laughs> but yeah, I do love Draken. I think he's super cool. And Orange Rouge makes the nicest Nendoroids in my opinion. The high Q ones are always immaculate. So I feel like Draken's will be really, really nice. So yeah, as long as his turns out cool, I'll probably pick up Draken. I, I do like Chifuyu, but I'm not super sold on it. We'll see how the Nendoroid looks. Maybe I'll pre-order. Uh, another scale figure from a company called Frontier Works. I have no idea who they are. Seem like a new company, but she looks cool. Uh, this cool 1 7th Racing Miku, she looks pretty funky. I like her. I don't know. 
I won't pick her up, but yeah, she looks cool. She's not my favorite racing Miku, I don't think. But yeah, she's cute. I, I wonder if she'll lean, though. I see a support rod behind her, but I don't know. I, the pose is very dynamic and cool, though. I'll give them that at least. We have World's End Harem. One seventh scale figure. She looks cute, actually. No idea who she is, but I mean, to each their own, she's cute. A one fourth Yutaha from Saikano. I'm not a huge Saikano fan. My favorite is definitely Iriri. Um, I think she's really cute. Utaha, I don't really like as much, and Megumi is my least favorite, so. I mean, she's cute. I, if you like Utaha, you like one fourth scales, you like bikinis, this is for you. I'm sure they'll do a great job. Um, I think this is Good Smile Company making this as well. Not, not freeing from what I can see here. So that's kind of interesting actually. Uh, oh, we finally got the uh, Sebastian and Ciel Nendoroids from uh, Black Butler. I think they look really cute. Nendoroid dolls are very cute. Um. I won't be picking them up, but I think if you're a huge fan, you would definitely want to pick those up. And I feel like the people who like Nendoroid dolls, I feel like I've said this before, but the people who like Nendoroid dolls and the people who like Black Butler definitely overlap. Like the vibes they give off are just very similar. So I feel like this is like a match made in heaven. I think I think Black Butler fans are very happy with this. And I think they look super cute. I love the outfits, especially CL. Uh, again, don't know who she is. Inuyasha. I have not watched Inuyasha. This Nendoroid looks cool. <laughs> why? <laughs> Please tell me why Good Smile Company are making Space Jam pop-up parades. Like, did anyone really say, damn, I need a LeBron James in my anime figure collection? I really don't think anyone said that. Like, no one has ever said that. But Good Smile did it anyway. <laughs> they also were making a Bugs Bunny to go with them. Just go to McDonald's. Like, here in Canada, we had these, like, I had, like, toys already for the Space Jam movie, so. Just go get one of those. <laughs> uh, another Inuyasha, she looks beautiful. No idea who she is, because I've never watched it, but wow, this is a stunning Nendoroid. I think she's super cool. Uh, yeah, oh, and we got some Demon Slayer Nendoroid dolls. I think they're cute. We just saw the Tanjiro and the Nezuko go up for pre-order, and the Nezuko and Tanjiro, they're so cute! I love them, and I do really like Zenitsu's as well, but I feel like I would prefer to just have the normal Nendoroids over the dolls for this set. I don't know, but they are very cute. Uh, we also got some more Nendoroid Swakao, Swachao, Sawako, don't know how to say it, will not be buying them. I really don't know what Good Smile is going for with this, with this line. I'm not a fan. Is anybody a fan? I don't think so. Let me know if you are. <laughs> and tell me why you are a fan. They just look so awkward to me, especially Tanjiro, he's like, like why? Like I, I don't get it. I just... It's not coming together for me. Uh, oh, I'm sure people who are fr fans of uh, Snafu will be happy with this announcement. I feel like males, males never get love from these like these romance anime shows. So it's nice to see the dude getting an Enderoid. Uh, okay, this one's really cute. It's from the after being rejected, I shaved and took in a high school runaway. Sometimes these Japanese names don't have the best translations to English. <laughs> um, but it's a scale of the main character. I think she looks, I think she's the main character. I haven't actually watched it, but she looks really cute. Um, I won't be buying it, but I think she's a very cute figure. Uh, oh, a new Shiro figure has been announced and she's semi okay for once. I would say her skirt's blowing up a little bit too high still for my tastes, but she is cute. Um, and I love all the colors in this one. I think she looks stunning and it's a bit different than her typical scales, I think. I don't know, I think this is a really pretty figure, but I will not be buying it. I don't really buy No Game No Life figures at all. 
gifts. We've got an Asuna 1 7th scale figure by Good Smile Company. She looks really pretty. Just another Asuna figure. Nothing really going crazy for me with this one, but I mean, she's cool if you're an Asuna fan. More Nendoroids, I don't know. More pop up raids, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna speedrun these. Cute little Rin and Len Soakos. Again, just re release the actual Nendoroids, please. I would like to buy them. Uh, oh, okay, I was actually excited about this one. This is the 1 7 scale figure Hatsune Miku with Solwa. I'm not sure who Solwa is. I'm not sure who the artist is. I wonder if it is Solwa, but I think this figure is so beautiful. And I saw the, the artwork that it's based on. I think she's gonna be stunning. And I will most, pretty much definitely buy her. <laughs> I love how her hair kind of looks like water or like paint splatter almost. Like it's really unique. And you guys know I'm a sucker for streetwear figures. What can I say? I'm a sucker for streetwear figures. So I will pretty much definitely be buying this. <laughs> and I feel like She's gonna look super cool with the the lamb Miku that got announced, the Tokyo Otaku Mode exclusive one. Cause the, that one's like facing backwards and then this one would be facing forward. So if you like overlap them slightly, I feel like they look super sick together on a shelf. Yeah, I, I think this is, yes. So I'm really excited about this one. I think she'll look amazing painted. I'm super, super excited to see how she looks. Um, we got a Magical Mirai 2020 winter Miku. She looks adorable here. An Apex Legends uh, Nindroid Watson. A 1 7th scale figure of this girl. Yeah, I'm gonna skip these ones. I don't know who any of these are. Oh, <laughs> if you're a fan of Undertale, I don't know anything about Undertale. Sorry to disappoint. Um, but next. Next we have a probably the only instant pre-order from this whole thing for me. Nendoroid Among Us, a <laughs> crewmate. <laughs> He's going right next to Thomas, what can I say? <laughs> Last time it was a joke when I said like, Thomas, I can't wait till he's painted. This is not a joke, I'm buying this. He's going on my shelf. <laughs> Why did Good Smile do this? This is almost as cursed as LeBron. Like. <laughs> I love it. I'm just praying it's red though, because I always plays the red or red Among Us guy. So I'm really, really hoping they pick red for the color of the crewmate. Um, but instant pre-order regardless of the color. <laughs> we got a Yang pop-up parade from Ruby. She looks really cute. I think she's the last one they need to release in the pop-up parade line so you can complete the whole Ruby set. She's really cute. Uh, more Nendoroids, I don't know. Some sitting ones of the Zero girls. Again, I don't think this line is that good. Like, I don't know why they're making so many. Uh, more Motoroid Molkar. They're very cute. And then we have like these like felted ones, <laughs> which is really cute. <laughs> I really like these felted ones. Uh, this girl, Roxy, she's like a witch with like these blue pigtails. I've seen her scale figures and they're really cute. So I bet you this Nendoroid will be adorable. Uh, don't know. This one I saw, I think her prototype was at the last one hobby. Um, the Fate Grand Order 1 7 scale figure Lancer, Minamoto no Raiko. She looks really cool. Um, I've recently become obsessed with Raita's art and Raita's characters, so I do think she's really cool and definitely fits that Raita aesthetic. Um, I probably won't be picking her up, but I do really like her. I think she's really cool. Uh, we got a 1 7th scale figure of Lancer Sienus? Sienus? Canis? Don't know, but looks cool. Uh, she looks really cool. I like this Nendoroid a lot. More Nendoroids from Fate. We got an Nendoroid doll of uh, Arthur Pendragon. A pop up parade from Fate Grand Carnival. I'm gonna skip these ones. Superman. I don't know what this is, but I think she's cool. So I'm, I'm interested to see where this goes. I don't really know what this is, but she seems cool. Very edgy, I think. 
Uh, oh, they announced this prototype at the last one hobby and they've painted her now and I think she looks gorgeous. It's the Tuyu collaboration scale figure Yuji Minke and I think she looks very cool. Um, won't buy her most likely because I, I don't know where she would even go in my collection to be honest. Um, but yeah, wow, she's really, really cool. I really like her. Uh, a 1-7 scale figure of Ginko Sora kimono version. I don't know who she is, but she looks really pretty. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna skip. We're gonna skip the creepy dolls. <laughs> Some more Pui Pui Mokar. Motoroids. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, oh, and then a ton of pop-up parades. I'm gonna speed run the pop-up parade announcements and get to the ones that I'm actually excited about. We got some Toho Project, some My Hero Academia. We got these ones. I don't know what they are, but they look kind of cool, I guess. Mm -hmm. We got some Jujutsu Kaisen ones. I'm not a huge fan of the Jujutsu Kaisen pop-up parades. I think they look kind of bad. I guess my brother was pretty excited about these. They are making Baki pop-up parades. They're pretty cool. I don't know if you're into Baki, that might be like a good option for you. Tons of figmas, a lot of pop-up parades. I'm gonna skip to some scales. Um, honestly, I was really not excited about any of these announcements other than they finally painted one figure that I've been very excited about. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Okay, where, where do we go with this? I'm just gonna show the one I'm excited about. Uh, it is the Fall Slander 1 7th scale Samurai. She's the only figure I really saw that I'm like, yeah, I'm probably gonna pre-order her when she goes up for pre-order. I love everything about this figure. Uh, it's by Wing. I've had good experiences with Wing's figures, so I will most likely be pre-ordering this one. I think she is stunning. So yeah, uh, my memory card just filled up <laughs> while I was recording, but I am super excited about this uh, Wing False Lander Scales Samurai figure. I think she is Beautiful! I can't wait to get her. I cannot wait. She's so she is so gorgeous. I love her. Um, and they also announced they're going to be making another figure from the False Lander line, and it is the Lands Writer. But this one is a one eighth for some reason, and the other one is a one seventh. Also made by Wing. It's very odd that they would switch the scale. That's really odd. But whatever. I think they'll both turn out super super sick. Um, they also announced another one from the A to Z series. I know my ethos has been making a lot of the A to Z figures, but it looks like Good Smile Company or Alumina, whatever that company is, is it dipping their toes in to make one. It is F01. I'm not obsessed with her like I am with a lot of the ones my ethos is making, but she might be really cool painted. I'll have to see her painted before I give my final thoughts on this figure. Um, the only other ones I want to talk about that are on the main website here are the, uh, this S-Fire company. They're, I think they're new, um, but they're making a Deku, a Bakugo, and a Deku versus Stain figure. And I think these all look absolutely freaking cool. <laughs> uh, I probably won't pick them up, but I think all of them are absolutely sick. And the, the Midoriya versus Stain one looks like it's gonna be insane. Like this is gonna be some like E-stream level madness here. I think it looks so good. And that fight was so sick in the show. So I, I'm just like obsessed. I think he looks amazing here. And I think this is gonna be such a sick figure. So if you're a fan of My Hero Academia, I feel like this figure is gonna be so good. There are three Nendoroid announcements that I was pretty hyped about too. We have the Jotaro Stone Ocean version. I think he looks absolutely slick in this outfit. I haven't seen anything of Stone Ocean yet. Like I'm an anime only. So I think he's gonna be super sick. I may pick him up. We'll see. I know Jolene is also prototyped um, and she looks really cool too. So we'll see but I really do love Jotaro's outfit. I think this is my favorite outfit of his. Uh, and then they also have finally prototyped the Fruits Basket, Yuki and Kyo um, Nendoroids. I think they look adorable. 
but they are being made by Toy Tech. <sighs> and Toy Tech has been known to make a mess of some of their Nendoroids, cough cough, uh, the Chica Nendoroid. So we'll have to see how they come out, but I think they're really cute. I probably won't pick up the Fruits Basket ones, um, cause I'm not a huge fan of Yuki and I do love Kyo, but if you, if you can see on my desk here, I actually did pick up the Kyo scale figure and I think this video will go up before my monthly haul. So you get a little sneak peek, but I did pick up the Kyo Kotobukiya figure. So I probably won't get his Nendoroid as well. So that's it for like the ones that they show on their like product gallery um, that I was really interested in. A lot of series I don't know much about, so I couldn't really give like any kind of super in-depth review, but those were the main ones that I was like, okay, that's sick, that's sick. Uh, but there are a few that were at Wonder Festival and just like aren't on the gallery, which is so weird because most of the ones I actually want <laughs> aren't on the gallery. <laughs> So the main ones that I think are super sick, um, I think the Wonderful Works uh, 1 7th scale figure Isekai Rem is super cute. I love her like pink, like spiky ball thing. I think she looks super cool. <laughs> I really like that Rem. Um, and then one set of figures that I may buy because I've, I have some dreams of like a dreamy cutesy like lingerie shelf i recently pre-ordered the the blue demon girl the ao oni girl from native and now i have dreams of like a full shelf of just like dreamy lingerie girls so the uh atelier riza 2 figures of riza and claudia i have no idea who these characters are i don't know the source material that they're from but i think their figures are so freaking cute I think if they're painted and look nice, we're probably gonna buy them. Especially the Riza, she's so thick. And I've been wanting a figure from her, of her for a while, but that was kind of like, I don't even know who she is, but I feel like this one's too good to pass up. And she just looks dummy, dummy thick. I love it, I'm, I'm obsessed. I freaking am obsessed. In addition, Freeing has some exciting news. Um, I feel like Freeing stole last one hobby stole the show at last one hobby and I honestly think they've done it again at this one. Um, so the first announcement that I see, oh, also I'm looking at these on Ruru Berry's website. So I follow her on Twitter. I think she's a great way to get new figure news. I absolutely love their content. It is in French. I don't really speak French, <laughs> um, but I mean, the pictures say enough. You don't really need to know French to enjoy the content. Um, but yeah, I'm actually using her website right now to look at these figures that were not on the main One Hobby website. So shout out to Ruru Berries. Um, anyway, so the first one I'm seeing here is the Black Rock Shooter bunny figure. I think she looks really cool. I saw some people on my figure collection kind of not liking this one because it is in a pose that they've already done before in a scale figure, but I honestly think she looks really, really cool. And um, I really like this bunny. Again, I'm not a huge fan of Black Rock Shooter. Like I don't know the material, so I probably won't buy it. But man, it's tempting. She looks so good. Uh, the next one is the Beatless one fourth scale figure of Lacia, Lacia, uh, bunny version. I think she looks beautiful. Love the alternative bunny suit, and I love her heels. Um, with her blue hair, I think she looks gorgeous. I won't be picking this one up, but I think she is stunning if you do pick her up. Uh, they also have painted the Rent-A-Girlfriend bunnies. I feel like the picture that's been circulating around, they look a little bit washed out and I'm not sure if that's just the lighting and the camera and everything, um, but they did paint the Chizuru and Sumi bunny figures. Um, Chizuru's I'm not a huge fan of painted actually. I liked it better when it was unpainted. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't love her shoes. I feel like they're really, really round. I don't, yeah, I don't know. The Chizuru one I'm not in love with, but the Sumi one I think is adorable. Um, I'll think about the Sumi one, but yeah, I think she's really cute. I I just feel like with the rent a girlfriend, I'd want all four of them if I get them and I don't know. They're not, I'm not obsessed and I feel like I need to be obsessed to buy a one fourth scale of a, of a character, you know? Uh, they did announce this one. Uh, Creamy Mommy, the Magic Angel, one-fourth scale figure. She looks really cool. 
No idea who she is though, but she looks cool. Uh, they also announced a Toho project, one fourth scale of this witch girl, Marisa Kirisame. Wow, she looks amazing. I wanna buy this figure and I have no idea who she is. Um, I think she's gonna be such like an eye catcher in someone's collection. I think she's freaking amazing. I think she's so beautiful. I'm tempted, I'm so tempted to get her, but I think I can hold off, but wow, she looks so good. Um, the next two are a set from the Hisasi Original Bunny series, one fourth scale figure of Mitsuka and Raika bunny version. Uh, I'll probably pre-order these ones. I really, really like these ones. I'm typically not one for like shy faced figures, but I don't, there's something about them that I feel like is very like alluring and really cute. I really like these two. Um, it's nice to see Freen going for something a little different as well. Um, I think the pink haired one I like a little bit more. So if I do end up only buying like one, I'll probably go for her. Uh, but yeah, they're freaking adorable. I love them. As long as they're not too pricey, I'll probably pick them both up and add them to my collection because I think they are just so cute. The next one I'm going to talk about is probably my biggest disappointment. Uh, and it is the Demon Slayer 1 4th Rengoku Kyojuro by Freeing. They announced it a while ago without a picture. And I was really, really hoping for the pose that the Aniplex scale is in. I know a lot of people really love it. I just don't. I feel like Rengoku gets so lost in the flames and his cape. And if it was a 1 7th, it, I think it would be great. But since it's a 1 4th, those flames are something like 70 centimeters tall. And like, he's just ma it's just massive and it's all this fire. I don't know, as cool as he is, I just, this was not what I was hoping when they announced him. This is not what I imagined. And I know a lot of people are gonna love it to each their own. It just was not what I was hoping. What do you guys think? Are you happy with the Rengoku or are you, or do you feel the same way as me where he's like just, he didn't measure up to what you were hoping for. Uh, they also and finally revealed the painted prototypes for the Izuku and the Bakugo um, figures, one fourth scales that they announced a while ago. Um, <laughs> sorry to disappoint everyone that was hoping when they say B style they mean bunny. <laughs> These are not bunny figures even though they are B style. Um, I think they look great. I saw some people not liking them as much in the My Figure Collection comments. I think they look fantastic, actually. Especially Bakugos. I love that they made his hand look like he's glowing, like he's about to let off an explosion. I think that's super, super sick. Um, I think he looks great. I really, really like his. Um, I really like Izuku's as well. I feel like his pose is very cool. With one fourths, I think you can't get as creative because they're really heavy. Um, so I think that they really like were able to nail that motion in a one fourth scale. Although, I do agree that the yellow smoke, I don't know, is a very strange choice for Midoriya since his power is green. So why did they use yellow and purple smoke? I don't really know. Like an electric green would have been better, I think. But I do think he looks really, really good himself. Yeah, I will be picking these up, but I think they're amazing. And if you're a fan of um, My Hero, I think you gotta pick them up. I think they look so good. They look so good. Both of them look fantastic. There were a couple that I liked from Wing as well. The first one being the 1 4th scale figure of Oka, Okami Zukin-chan. Basically just like a little red riding hood. Um, I think she's gorgeous. I think she is so cute. I love her. Yeah, like wow, she's freaking so cute. Um, yeah, wow, I really love that figure. Um, and then one that I think will probably be an insta pre-order for me when it gets painted, as long as they do a good job, is the 1 7th scale figure Marona Trulez art, art by Tomari. She's like a little diner girl. And like in the original art, her outfit's like red and oh my god. I am in love. Red is my favorite color. <laughs> As you can see, I'm wearing some red today. Red is my favorite color, so whenever I see a figure that has like lots of red accents, like that samurai figure from earlier, I just like instantly fall in love. I just love red. Like red, oh, 
Red does not get nearly enough attention, I feel like. Red is just like the best color. I just love red so much, so. I am obsessed with this diner one. She looks so good. I can't wait. I cannot wait to buy her. Um, I love her vibe. I love everything about this figure. I cannot wait to buy it. Wing, chef's kiss. I cannot wait. Uh, Wing also announced a My Sakurajima China Dress figure. I think she's really cute. I do have a China Dress shelf in the works. So depending on how she's painted, I may consider it. I don't know, I think she's cute. I like her. All right, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed hearing my thoughts. I'm sorry if I didn't talk about a figure you're excited about. If I didn't, please comment the figure and tell me why you're excited about it. I can't wait to read all of your comments to hear like the figures you guys are excited about. Um, I, I love doing these videos, but they end up being super, super long if I talk about every single figure. So I've been trying to kind of speed run this one a little bit more because I had to edit my other one down so much and I would like to get this video out as soon as possible. So I apologize if I didn't talk about a figure you're excited about, but hopefully you can share in my excitement, share in my highlights. Um, and yeah, I was thinking potentially, and uh, someone suggested this on Anim Bay's Discord, so I'm so sorry, I forget who it was, but thank you for suggesting this. Would you guys be interested in me potentially like live streaming on YouTube during one of these events? I feel like that'd be really fun and I could like talk about it live with you guys and it wouldn't be so like edited. Um, so let me know what you think. I was thinking maybe for one of the next festivals, I'd have to get a better webcam, but I was thinking it might be kind of fun to try my hand at streaming my reactions to like Wonderfest or something like that, something coming up. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about maybe doing a live stream for a, a future festival, because I think that would be really fun. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know which figures, Nendoroids, Figma, pop-up parades you're excited about. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.